Hey, Assalamualaikum everyone and welcome back to uh, Bitcoin Update. So it's quite the uh, sideways market at the moment and uh, with one pump, uh, once again I told you, you're going to be turning uh, bullish and with one drop you're going to be turning bearish. Now this is nothing more than, you know, uh, what do you call that? These are mosquitoes right now, okay? These are mosquitoes everywhere. They, these candles are like mosquitoes, okay? You can you can see that um, one mosquito is uh, you know like sucking in your blood and then the sub, I mean all the red candles are all these candles are just mosquitoes and what do mosquitoes actually do? They suck your blood. That's it. You know it's, you're, you're giving blood donations to these guys right over here. So you don't want to do that. Okay, you don't want to do that. I strictly tell you, recommend you, don't do that. You don't have to force yourself to trade in a market that is consolidating. I like consolidation because I find the time to go for a holiday or, you know, focus on other things like sports and family and friends, have time for myself, maybe go around, you know, just do whatever the hell I want to do. But right now, if you try to, like, you know, um, fight with this thing and hit your head every single time in, in a consolidation market, ah, come on, man, learn something or two from me because i've even been saying this on my trading course for a long time that the books say okay and the traders say the traders who are there before you and me they say that consolidating market should be avoided Tr trade when there's a raging market and right now the volume in the market is not there people are cashing out that's what i uh, i'm looking at and as far as i'm concerned with every single day that goes on i'm looking at bitcoin really really trying to come down very badly okay i have a very bad vibe to be honest with you right now if every single day that passes four days ago i was neutral but every single day when the candles print out you get new story you get new uh, better clarity of what's going to happen next candles are printing out the market is still showing that you know there's there's a little bit of a, a bear uh coming in to maybe uh play with them a little bit so yesterday what happened is that you had or let's say two days ago you had one red candle and then yesterday you had one green candle so this is what's happening bearish bullish bearish bullish bearish bullish bearish bullish okay bearish bullish and it keeps on going on so right now you have green you're going to think oh i should be bearish and then today i, I perhaps think today you're going to be red again and then you're going to say yeah again i'm bearish and then maybe tomorrow go back up so it's just a consolidation and i've told you in yesterday's video it's a consolidation box and i would i don't think even it's, if it's a good idea to like stretch the whole thing and get you confused with very long updates at the moment but one thing i'm going to talk about is that i'm going to bring in the ems and i do see that there's something that should happen quite quickly we do have the 10 ema right now that bitcoin is still supported by the 10 ema the only good thing that you have for bitcoin is that you got a bull cross and you're above the emas but you've never back tested the 55 and i do expect somewhere down the road i've said this before 55 is a place where bitcoin uh probably is going to go and touch there no guarantees but right now if there i'm not completely saying there's no chance of going up there's always a chance of going up okay it's, it's technical analysis by the end of the day it's just a game of probabilities and uh, you know looking at what is possible so let's say you continue on with this sideways movement like this or you do have a little bit of resistance up here um, the 10 EMA is crawling up and if i extend this then you do have potentially time until the time until here uh, which can actually be around 15 of april okay so by 15 of april we should get a squeeze and if you do push up like this during that squeeze if you end up coming up and you know popping up like this then that's when i might say that okay consolidation is done you've broken out of a $29,000 resistance because it's all about breaking and having a direction it's not even about going down i'm not even biased that oh we're looking for the market to drop down the thing is that we need a direction the direction is in there it's just a sideways market and especially when you have a sideways market it's either that the market maker is building his position to short the market and it's just he's just you know moving sideways pumping things because he has won your trust with pumping the market down there you don't feel that you're not gonna have a red candle and i have a feeling psychologically wise 
that there should be a correction coming down. That's how I'm going to put it. A correction should be there because the market has been pumping up like crazy for the past few days. There should be a cool down. And then after that, shake some people off, reverse the psychology to fear, uncertainty and doubt. And then from there, pump back, back it up because I'm still bullish on a higher time frame for Bitcoin to make it all the way back to $69,000. I want to see Bitcoin make it to $69,000. Hopefully, inshallah, we're going to see that. And that's pretty much it for this update. I'm going to see you in the next one. Allah Hafiz.